assured themselves so far to be among the 13 qualifiers for Brazil. It's a night in which Belgium, Switzerland and Germany have also made it known that they'll be on the plane. Five European qualifiers, just one South American qualifier so far. So four games as usual on across South America tonight. Three of them are reaching their conclusion, all played simultaneously, so as not to give an advantage one way or the other if they were to be played staggered as they normally are, one after the other. Just running through the uh, Peruvian substitutes. Peru are already out, and Argentina are already through. It's been really quite a dismal campaign for Peru. They've lost their last three games, which eliminated them early, along with Bolivia and Paraguay. That is quite a substitutes bench for Peru tonight. They've named a squad of 23, and they've just about brought everybody to the Monumental tonight. Argentina told the pile at 29 points with two games to go. Sergio Aguero has been well among the goals during the two years of World Cup qualifying. No Brazil as they are hosts. So it's a nine-team supergroup instead of ten this time around. It means that there won't be nigh on 65,000 within the Monumental this evening as Argentina made sure last time out a thumping 5-2 away win at Paraguay. There is quite a tussle in Bogota right now, 3-3 between Colombia and Chile. The winners automatically qualifying for the World Cup. Actually, Chile were to somehow get a winning goal. They're in the 90th minute there, by the way. That both Chile and Colombia would go through as there would be a definite loser between Ecuador and Uruguay. It is Ecuador who provide the officials tonight. Carlos Vera is our match referee. Christian Lascano and Green Romero are the assistants. So very good evening from Will Downing, Argentina have done what they've needed to do, just one loss in their 14 games so far under Alejandro Sebeja, formerly of River Plate and Estudiantes, Sheffield United and Leeds United, they lost their second game to Venezuela, but since then 12 games unbeaten, 7 of the wins, and they have spectacularly ploughed through the rest. Such a different story to last time out under Diego Maradona when they needed a victory in the penultimate night against Uruguay to go through. As for Peru, well, they tore up their tickets for Brazil a long time ago. Lionel Messi tonight due to injury. So Argentina round off their home campaign. They still have a big night coming in Montevideo on Tuesday against Uruguay, whose passage through was certainly not assured at all. Finding themselves in fifth place, which is the playoff spot. Uruguay have just lost 1-0 in Ecuador which means they're three points behind the automatic qualifying places Colombia and Chile are still tied at 3-3 and Venezuela and Paraguay have just drawn one all it was Venezuela's last match and it means they are definitely out it means that Paraguay for now Get off the bottom. Olivia dropping there, but they were both eliminated a long, long time ago. Free kick 
kick for Peru. Claudio Pizarro, 18 goals for his country. The Champions League and four times Bundesliga winner with Bayern Munich. It's delivered long, aimed for Gomez. Major celebrations for Colombia. The final whistle's gone in Bogota and Colombia have qualified for the World Cup. It's finished 3-3 three, three there. They were 3-0 down at home to Chile. Now, had that result stayed firm, well, Colombia weren't to know it, but they'd have both gone through. Two goals from Sanchez, one from Vidal for Chile, two penalties from Falcao in the final 15 minutes. The other from Teo Gutierrez. Colombia 3, Chile 3. Colombia qualified for the World Cup at the second side after Argentina to make it. Major stories away from here. And as that's gone for a throw, we can tell you that the table is Argentina on 29 points, Colombia now on 29, Chile and Ecuador both on 25, Uruguay on 22. And they are the only five nations who now matter. The first four countries qualifying for the World Cup. And at the moment, Chile, Ecuador, and Uruguay. Out of those three, two will qualify on Tuesday night for the World Cup. The fifth places will go into the playoffs. It's on goal difference, it's FIFA rules, not any other uh, continental federation. So it doesn't go to head-to-head. -to -head. It makes the final night all that a bit more fascinating. Now, this is Aguero. Lovely ball switched inside, wonderful combination and it's forced to save out of the Peruvian goalkeeper Diego Penny already after three minutes. From the Sporting Cristal who denied Diego Forlan from the spot earlier in the campaign. Wonderful move, a gorgeous back heel by Levetti. Enjoying life in the French capital no doubt with Paris Saint-Germain. Great combination between the two. Guerrero's effort never really looked as if it was going to be on target, but lovely combination between here and Levetti. Gracias for Guerrero. Levetti was uh, a little bit behind the pace this time. sort of range in which he scored the uh, winning goal in the Olympic Games back in Beijing as he sent it forward towards Aguero. Not the goal scoring record for Argentina, Sergio Aguero. This is 47th international cap, he scored 19. Charge again, aim for let's see this time. Forward by Di Maria with the captain's armband. Run through the Argentina side as the Teams flashed up before you joined us. It's Sergio Romero and goal. A back four of Zabaleta, Garay, Fernandez, and Rocco. The midfield, Venega, Villa, and Di Maria. And then Palacio, Aguero, and the Betsy, the forward combination. On paper, it's 4 3 3. Reality may be somewhat different. Di Maria, good charge, and the shoulder charge. Deemed to be legal by Carlos Vera, the Ecuadorian referee. There's not many around here who agree. Major deflection of Otado had the effort. Out for the throw, so Peru's side, Penny in goal. A back four of Aparicio, Duarte, Gambetta and Hurtado. In midfield, Ballon, 
Vargas Ramirez Gomez up front Correa and Pizarro. Vargas can lead the line as well though, so may well be a 4-3-3 and certainly the visual clue suggests that is very much the case. Vargas back. Old Fiorentina spent last season on loan at Genoa. Couldn't get a forward towards Edwin Gomez of Universitario de Deportes, the man they call the hyena. His fourth international appearance, two debutants for Peru tonight. In Coichi, Aparicio of Alianza Lima and uh, Gianmarco Gambetta of Universidad San Martín. They have three more on the bench who have not played senior international football before. But they're out and coach Sergio Calian has decided, well, why not give them a try? by Ricardo. Romero forced into the save. It wasn't straightforward for the Argentine defence. He's somewhat switched off. Spectacular Copa America last time out, reached the semi finals, turned over by the eventual winners, Uruguay. All four quarter finals provided a shot. Guerrero couldn't quite keep that in play. Just squirmed out of the Arms of Sergio Romero, recently signed for Monaco from Sampdoria. Baller judge to have stayed in. No goal line officials in the World Cup qualifiers. Sporting Lisbon, who perennially never to break through the last scene with the big two in Portugal. The Messi was sent tumbling, it was a decent ball forward to him by Lucas Bilia, who, when he was working on Belgian football for a season or two, was Always referred to there as Bigley of Anderlecht. He's gone Italian, the G has dropped there. It's, uh, it's the sky blue that he now wears. Those who say that Leo Messi never plays as well for Argentina as he does for Barcelona, but one top scorer alongside Luis Suarez on 10 in the South American World Cup qualifiers. Couldn't be added to tonight by the uh, wily Uruguayan. Uruguay losing 1-0 to Ecuador. Really has shaken up the group. Aguero, good layoff. Levetsic. Palacio straight offside, he's back on again. Aguero wide for Zabaleta. Always good at getting forward. Palacio got the cross, not the finish. Billia had the try and it rebounded away. Never scored yet for Argentina, it's his 13th international appearance tonight. And for a long time, it's been courted by many major clubs around Europe. Lazio eventually won the race for a signature. He loved life in Brussels. 
could have left a lot earlier than he did. Nevetsi loses out. Good tackle by uh, Nestor Duarte. Largely home based Peruvian starting 11 6. Play their domestic football at home. That includes Palo and of Universidad San Martin. Alejandro Sabea will be a recognisable figure around Yorkshire. Harry Haslam, the Sheffield United chairman at the time, helped Tottenham sign Ozzy Ardiles and Ricky Villa. And then picked up an Argentine himself. Some might say, perhaps, in terms of how those three Argentines did in England, maybe he picked up the wrong one. Zabaleta for Palacio of Inter. Zabaleta. Di Maria. And Argentina are playing it around and the trigger was pulled. And the Real Madrid attacker, but without the final finish. After losing to Venezuela and drawing to Bolivia, they proceeded to win six of their next seven qualifiers. And the game they didn't win was still a draw away to Peru. Now it's Aguero. Aguero with the pullback, wide open, must be, is it? How did that not go in? Diego Penny with a major save to deny Rodrigo Palacio. A penny for his thoughts. It was an excellent, intricate move. Venegas starting it off. Aguero hoisted. And surely this had to go in from Rodrigo Palacio. He's only scored once for Argentina before in 16 previous appearances. That did not double his all time collection. And in truth, with Vargas on the line also, even if he'd evaded Penny, that surely wasn't going to go in. Rocco. Cross could have been better, but Argentina certainly going all out to round off their campaign with an impressive victory. They've scored 30 goals in their 14 qualifiers already. Palacio. Not a lot to aim for, but he still managed to find Aguero, who despite the acute angle still managed to get the shot away. He scored five goals in the campaign, Higuain nine, Messi ten. Between those three, 24 goals, which is precisely nine more than Peru have mustered between their entire squad. Zabaleta was waiting in the middle and his Manchester City club colleague might have had a look up and for a man in a better position. It is windy in Buenos Aires tonight. Simple cut out by Duarte. Anyways, there's not a huge amount of experience in the starting 11 for Peru tonight. A lot of youngsters being tried out. Seven of the starting 11 of 13 caps or less. A lot of experience on the bench, though, if needed. And it might well be. It's Billia with the foul. Bigly, as he was known. And locality prior to this summit brought down Andre Correa sporting Lisbon it's alongside Marcus Rojo the Argentine there
Fabregas waiting. Two-man wall, which will be easily beaten, you imagine, and it was. Easy pickings for Romero. Sees tumble. He's been his medal with Paris Saint Germain after helping Napoli having a breakthrough to qualify for a couple of Champions Leagues. Benega just couldn't get it through. Switch to what matters. Old number. And Zerwin. Former moved on to Chelsea. Palacio, Rocco now, again not a huge amount to aim for in the middle so he'll go an indirect route for Levetsi, Palacio, Di Maria, bit stray but brought Zabaleta into the fray, his forward run is beneficial, the penalty he won last week against Everton in the English Premier League, controversially awarded a case in point, there's Matador football already. Lays all the way. Forward by Bilia. Free kick. Given against Jamarco Gambetta, the international debutant from Universidad San Martin. His first ever caller. One of his nicknames is El Tanque. The tank. That's why. Aguero upended. Four around the ball, all tempted. Aguero no longer in the belts. Villa, from his time in Belgium, a great free kick taker. Di Maria, we know all about also. Venega down the middle. It's a triple threat. It's Di Maria. And the wall stood firm. Twice over. Edwin Gomez breaking out his block of Universitario de Deportes. Fascinating position that the group is in now. Argentina on 29 points, Colombia 27. Just to update what we said earlier, they are the two nations definitely through. Too long in the end for the Vets. Ecuador are now in third place. They're in 25 points with a plus five goal difference. Chile now fourth, 25 points of plus three. And Uruguay, in order to get through, they're 22 points. Now a minus one goal difference after they lost tonight to Ecuador. Uruguay would have to get a four or a six goal turnaround. Now Chile and Ecuador in third and fourth, they play on Tuesday night while Uruguay are hosting Argentina. Uruguay would have to win really by a two or a three goal margin. But Argentina find themselves behind here, midway through the first half. Scored by Pizarro. Romero came too far out. And Peru might have been shot down in flames earlier in the competition. But they're not leaving without a fight. And they're not leaving without a lead at the Monumental. Lovely goal by Claudia Pizarro. His 19th for Peru. Very much against the run of play. The flag stayed down. Pizarro's head was up. And Peru's spirits are certainly up now. 
Romero to save. It's only the 12th goal Argentina have conceded in 15 World Cup qualifiers. It's only the 16th goal that Peru scored. Buck up Argentina into life. They've got themselves a corner kick. Now it certainly looked the linesman's giving it. The referee doesn't appear to be at first. It's a good cross by Palacio. There's no doubt the ball had gone out when Lavezia touched it. It was well out. Lavezzi ties it up 90 seconds after Argentina went behind. And that was on the run of play. Penny had endeavoured to keep it out. And in his 13th international appearance was unlucky to find Lavezzi sweeping up. His third international goal for Argentina. It was a thumping header. Looked to come from Angel Di Maria at first, and then Lavezzi there at the far post to score. And there was very little that Petty could do. Lavezzi the scorer on the rebound. Federico Fernandez had the original effort. Di Maria leading the celebrations. It's unfortunate for Penny, it was a good save in the first place. He could only find Levetti, and Levetti down the net. Ezekiel Lovetsi reunited again in Paris with the man who provided so much in Naples. It's an arm out. Carlos 
Mirror gave nothing. It's a dramatic break. Vargas to Ramirez leading the charge. Argentina had enough men back eventually. to really counter attack. The best Final fixture. Four years ago, Uruguay against Argentina was so important to Argentina in order to qualify automatically. the save, it was a good first time shot by Lucas Piglia, still awaiting his first Argentine goal, Argentina beats Uruguay next Tuesday night at once in the day, it's of vital importance for Uruguay this time, qualified by the playoffs last time round, it didn't do them much harm, it's true, she won an aggregate against Costa Rica and ended up being World Cup semi-finals, the first any South American nation.
year for Spartak Moscow. He had been a couple of Limitadora's winner alongside Enrico Fernandez, with whom he's playing tonight. And Alejandro Deja for Estudiantes from 2009.
Correa. The flag is up. And the ball is in the net. For the third time. This one will be for quite a while. Look again. The flag of Green Romero on the far side. Denying as well. And the ball was played. It looked quite level. As if Aguero was leading offside. Well, uh, important point about Argentina's final World Cup qualifier. The way to Uruguay's. Especially if Uruguay don't win, if they draw, then. Chile and Ecuador who face off themselves on Tuesday but both also qualify automatically for the World Cup. Yes, 
World Cup in 32 years. Certainly the evidence of the British side of the city of Caroline, the old one, the blue up in Argentina. Strong punch out by Romero. It's a shot to nothing from Vargas. South American qualifiers after all. Great punch away by Romero. 35 yards. Vargas was going to have a go. 